Hello fellow Rosarians. Thank you for joining me today. If you look behind me, I have these beautiful saucer magnolias that are in bloom. I get about two weeks of color out of them and I just love having them there at the front of the road for everyone to see and enjoy. And then I also have these obelisks that we did a video and uh, you watched me make. So those are to support the hydrangeas that look so pretty when they're in bloom, but the blooms get so heavy. And so I just wanted to try something else this year to see if that helps them. So let's go ahead and talk about our unboxing today. We are unboxing from All My Time. And All My Time is a small business, women owned, and you're gonna work with Dawn. Dawn will answer all your questions and she is very responsive. She is selling grade one, bare root roses and if you go to her website you'll see that she also has dahlias which are fun but when you are looking specifically at the roses make sure that you click on the rose description because some of them are dr huey some of them multiflora and some are own root you know i like multiflora or own root um the average cost on her site is 29 dollars up to 36 and i am not sure what the breakout is if the newer varieties are 36 i kind of think the david austin's were 32 ish which is the same price that you would pay if you were ordering from David Austin direct. She sends FedEx. I did not find a coupon available. I didn't see anything um, on the website to indicate that there was a extended warranty beyond on arrival. So you're going to want to make sure that you look them over really well. And, and if you have any questions, send that over to her. She doesn't have PayPal. Um, I know some of you are looking for that, but hopefully that's something that she'll add in the future. So what am I expecting in this unboxing? I'm expecting four roses that are grade one. And the only thing that I'll add is one of the roses I didn't get that I really wanted. And I signed up for her waiting list. And sure enough, she had one available that she could send me. There were two others that I missed and I'll be looking for next year, of course. I think those were the Jalbert roses on her site. So uh, make sure that you always sign up for a wait list uh, because more often than not, I end up getting a lot of the roses that I was waitlisted for. So what are we looking for uh, when we unbox this rose? We are looking for, uh, did we get the size that we ordered? In this case, I am looking for a grade one rose. And with that, um, I've done a video. I'll link it here um, and that'll show you the different grades. Grade one is simply three canes the size of a pencil. So we are hoping that the canes and the roots stay moist through shipment. And how they do that is they enclose the entire rose bare root in a bag. We are also hoping for bright green canes and a firm crown and no growths on the roots. So let's get in here. We are off to a good start and it looks like we are completely enclosed in plastic, which is great. Let's see, I've got my statement of inspection here, my invoice. I can't wait to see these babies. Okay, I've got a little something here we'll open up in a second. Okay, so completely enclosed. It looks like they are starting to flush out in shipment and you can see the humidity in the bag and that just lets you know that they had enough moisture to make it through shipment. Sometimes people ask me how long a rose can go um, in shipment because they get lost and people are worried that they're going to need water. I think that they can go for about two weeks. You know, I've had shipments get lost before and they're fine because we're gonna plunge these into water for 24 hours as soon as we get them home. All right, so taking a look really quick, these canes are <laughs> massive. Oh my gosh, I've got the trees behind me, so it's kind of hard for you to see, but look at this, wow. There are two huge canes that are the size of my thumb, <laughs> and then the remaining four canes are the size of a pencil. This is outstanding. This is peach glory, and it's gonna grow four foot tall and spread three foot wide looking at this one the crown is nice and firm there's nothing soft the roots look fantastic and it's already starting to flush its leaves it's very happy let's look at the next one 
this one is peach perfect and this is a three foot tall three foot wide I love that she's got these tags on here so that I can take a quick look and see which rose it is uh, looking at the roots it's got a little bit of a swoosh here and is that a problem no because it looks like nothing's knotting up together it's going to be fine looking at the crown everything is nice and firm look at the size of these canes this is a really happy rose. Okay, this is Beverly Ann Clay. And wow, I've got some basil shoots that want to come off here. This one is going to be really um, vigorous. Looking at the roots, this root mass is a little bit larger. A lot of fibrous roots on it. And that's okay. So I think this rose looks really nice. One more okay this is the smallest rose out of all of them having said that all of these canes there are five canes the size of a pencil and this is anglia love i'm probably saying that wrong and the another name for it is jaw love and that's of course a jawbert rose so we're looking at the crown everything looks great it's flushing out looking at the root system everything looks fantastic so let's talk about the pricing for all my time we're going to use $32 because that seems to be the average or the medium for the roses on their site five roses at $32 is $160 shipping is $45 so the total is $205 so if we look at that rack and stack Jackson and Park is, is the most expensive and all my time is below that and then Spring Hill Nursery so they're on the upper end to grab these Jalbert roses I'm all in and the quality is beautiful and they're on multi-flora stock which you know I love so I haven't opened this little baby yet let's see what's in here so we've got the Garden Rose Planting Guide in here. What pretty tissue paper and ribbon. And I just love ordering from small businesses because I really think they take a lot of pride in their packaging, the quality of the roses, the QA is better. And when you reach out and you have a question, the person that answers the phone is knowledgeable on roses. So anyways, um, let's open this up and I have a wonderful pair of gloves and I actually started buying these brands of glo gloves after I ordered from her last year because I liked them so much. A wonderful little gift that goes with these roses. So I hope you'll consider ordering from All My Time and if you'll keep checking with me, I'm going to do a three month check in and a six month check in and I can't wait to show these babies to you in bloom. So thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one.